माय डियर फ्रेंड मिस्टर अशोक हिंदुजा श्री शोम हिंदुजा सी ऑफ स्विच मोबिलिटी इंडिया श्री महेश बाबू डिस्टिंग्लिश डिग्नेटरीज गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स मेंबर ऑफ हिंदुजा ग्रुप कलिग्स फ्रॉम इंडस्ट्रीज एंड ऑल माय डियर फ्रेंड्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन इट इज़ रियली अ ग्रेट प्लेजर फॉर मी टू लॉन्च दिस डबल डेकल बस इलेक्ट्रिक बस हियर इन मुंबई I remember three to four years before, when I was in London, Gopiji phoned me, and he was telling me that please take the trial of our electric bus. Actually, that was a time when India, we are working on the policy to start electric buses in India. I got opportunity because Mahesh Babu was there probably at that time, so I take the trial. I request them that this bus we need in Mumbai. because this is the need of the country and you should take the initiative to start double decker bus in mumbai electric bus i am really happy and giving my special thanks and best wishes to ashok ji and his team for taking this venture successfully and starting this new electric bus in mumbai first of all ethics economy ecology and environment these are the three important pillar pillars of our country and particularly economic point of view we have import of 15 lakh crore of petroleum products and ga gas and petroleum products it is not only economic challenge but 35% the pollution in the country is because of diesel and petrol and this is the time for ecology and environment we need to have go most priority for pollution free country and that is the reason that import substitute cost effective pollution free and indigenous now in indian situation import of crude oil is a big challenge because you already experiencing that the way in which the rates are increase it is also very difficult for the common man and electric is a indigenous fuel i am really happy from 2004 i was working on a mission that is diversification of agriculture towards energy and power sector and actually today it is well recognized and the people are now ready to accept it the most important thing for india is the knowledge is a power the innovation entrepreneurship science technology research skilled and successful practices we name it as knowledge and conversion of knowledge into wealth is the future and regarding automobile industry the size of automobile industry is 7.5 lakh crores and this is the important industry for the country which is giving maximum employment potential at the same time this is the industry which is giving maximum taxes to the state and central government through gst so my dream is to make this industry of 15 lakh crore within up to end of 24 2024 and this can be possible because all reputed brands in the world all are present in india and now our export is increase i am telling you the example when i was shipping minister every time i was coming to bpt every time there was thousands of truck buses were standing there for export so we have got the potential because the engineering manpower is available in india the technology is available in india and that is the reason that we can be very very competitive and today also our government has taken a very very important decision for scrapping policy by which scrapping the car we can reduce the cost of production cost of the vehicle and now we are making the draft of three important major port up to 18 meter so we can take all scrapage material from the world to india and we can convert it now just i am giving the example some before some days some people approaching me that asking me the permission for the used tire west tire import of west tire i was asking what is the reason why you are importing it they was telling me that we can make the powder from it and that can be used adding for rubberized bitumen so immediately i contacted the environment minister and tell him we have opportunity to start it now we are importing now the two philosophy one is knowledge to wealth and other is west to wealth and i am confident that this is the way in which our automobile industry is now developing and that is the reason that 
I am confident that within five years we will be number one manufacturer of hub in the world. We have got the all potential is available. And now because of the government policy also, just we have a tender for 5000 buses from the our power ministry. We are also in coordination with them. And we received the rate. And the rate was 39 rupees per kilometer for non-AC bus and 41 rupees something is for air conditioned bus. As compared with diesel, the cost of the electric is very cheap. Now electric, ethanol, methanol, biodiesel, bio LNG, bio CNG and hydrogen. The green hydrogen is a fuel for the country. In Delhi I have got hydrogen car. It's so beautiful, so comfortable and that is the future. So now it is the important time for the country that we have to go on alternative fuels and particularly for ethanol, it's a fuel from the farmer. We are sugar surplus, corn surplus, rice surplus and now in one plant, it's really a good thing and amazing thing and proud of thing for the India that the Indian oil has started the plant in uh, Panipat that is from rice straw, parali converted into 1 lakh liter of ethanol per day that is second generation ethanol and 150 ton of bio bitumen per day i just requesting mr vaidya chairman of india you make the bitumen whatever you will make it i will take purchase it for the road construction because it is bio bitumen already we have lot of import out of 50 lakh ton of uh, bitumen we have in india and 30 lakh of ton of bitumen we are importing so this is the time that import substitute cost effective, pollution free and indigenous. And electric is the fuel because it is available. Because of the solar power, the electric power is coming to 2 rupees 30 paisa and 40 paisa per unit. So traveling with the electric car, it can be a really very very cheaper as compared with the diesel car. I just suggesting Ashokji that you can make luxury buses of electric. It can start from Delhi to Chandigarh, Delhi to Simla, Delhi to Jaipur and now I am making green highway. And my plan is to make it from Delhi to Dehradun in two hours, Delhi to Haridwar in two hours, Delhi to Jaipur two hours, Delhi to Chandigarh two and a half hours, Delhi to Amrutsar four hours, Delhi to Katra six hours and Delhi to Srinagar eight hours and Delhi to Mumbai in twelve hours. So my suggestion is, if your luxury bus start from Delhi to Mumbai up to Nariman point, because I want to connect it up to Nariman point. Already the proposal is pending with the government of Maharashtra. I, we have 70% of work is completed of Delhi-Mumbai highway. And now from Vasai Virar, this Varali Bandra ceiling project, because it actually I got appalled to construct that Varali Bandra ceiling project and 55 flyovers once upon a time when I was minister in Mumbai or Mumbai-Pune highway. So my dream is to connect Nariman point to Delhi and it is no problem, like we, can, we can do it. So at that time if your electric bus will be there, it will be a really a pleasant uh, trip for all the people and they can enjoy. And you know, this is the elect, air conditioned bus. So now the diesel cost is very high. It's creating pollution. I always talking to the people that I want to say diesel and petrol ko par karna hu, khatam karna chahta hu. पहले पहले लोग हंसते थे पर अब लोगों को विश्वास हो गया है जितना जितना अल्टरनेटिव फ्यूल है उसका यूज करो और इसलिए आई एम रिविंग माय स्पेशल थैंक्स टू यू बिकॉज़ द ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्री इंडियन ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्री इज चेंजिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर सम डेज इट वाज कॉस्ट सेंट्रिक नाउ द इंडियन ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्री पर्टिकुलर इंडियन मैन्युफैक्चरर आर क्वालिटी सेंट्रिक एंड दैट इज द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट द शेयर इन द मार्केट फॉर इंडियन ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्री इज इंक्रीजिंग इट्स रियली अ गुड थिंग फॉर मी now the electric truck is also ready, electric tractor is ready. The huge opportunity is there. The research is very important. Sometime it will take some time, obviously, because it is very difficult. But the way in which, particularly the switch, move, switch company, which you are subsidy, they are doing excellent research. And I am confident due course of time, not only double decker bus, not only you will be electric truck, electric car, everything on electric, it's not a big problem. Now the technology is available and even in the battery chemistry also there is a lot of development. 
there is a lithium ion battery sodium ion battery zinc ion battery aluminum battery so the green hydrogen my idea is to the farmers can make green hydrogen already in bangalore i just launched one company they are import exporting their all 90% of their production of electrolyzer to usa now cost of the electrolyzer 1 crore we are selling our sewage water to government of maharashtra getting 3 crore rupees royalty every year the koradi and kaparkeda power project they are using our sewage water now we have the project that from water there will be a rooftop solar for segregation of solid waste management and where we'll get the solar power and using electrolyzer we'll get hydrogen green hydrogen because the brown hydrogen is from petroleum and the black hydrogen is from the coal but regarding ecology and environment we need green hydrogen and that's the future for the country we can use that hydrogen in industry also in the pharmaceutical industry chemical industry everywhere we can use it now the economics of aviation sector is now facing problem because of the aviation fuel cost is increase the one of the company from maharashtra the pune the praj they have already have a successful research making butanol alternative fuel for aviation and it is from ethanol so i feel that we have got tremendous potential and in the truly speaking this is swadeshi thinking swadeshi and swavalamban because the petrol and diesel import creates pollution and also economic problem for the country so this initiative is very much useful for the country and for the people by and large and you are making electric luxury bus it's really a good thing i am personally very much happy about it because i always encouraging the people who are making new changes accepting new technology new innovations and new research i am giving my special thanks to you hinduja parivar and particular your company for taking this initiative i feel that once upon a time when i was elaborating to gopi ji at that time in london that you started this double decker of electric bus in mumbai you really fulfill that promise i am as a personally i am giving my special thanks to you and your family for uh, this achievement and once again this is the future and this futuristic technology is 100% going to give you not only a success story but equally wealth for you i am really happy i am giving my special best wishes to this venture once again good luck best luck for all of you thank you very much namaskar